Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Nikki Zizazo. Welcome to those of you watching on CBS News Baltimore and on WJZ TV. Hartford County's new county executive is facing even more backlash this week over his budget. A story a lot of people have been talking about is last week we told you the superintendent of Hartford County Schools was unhappy about the cuts. And then this week, the county sheriff speaking out because he says the executive is now holding up plans to build a new precinct and training center. Jessica Albert spoke to both the sheriff and the county executive. She's live in Harford County tonight with more. Jessica. Rick and Nikki, the sheriff tells me that plans for this new building were already approved by the last administration and that the building should be under construction right now. But the county executive says that this is a bad budget year and the best thing to do is to hold off on building it. The Harford County Sheriff Jeff Gaylor and the newly elected Harford County Executive Bob Cassily are at odds over money for a new police precinct and training center near Aberdeen. The sheriff says this is a project that was approved by the former county council and executive. He says more than a million taxpayer dollars have already been spent drawing up plans to renovate this building already owned by the county. The sheriff went before the county council on this issue Tuesday afternoon. He also posted to the sheriff's office. His Facebook page accusing the executive of defunding his agency. This is not about raising taxes. I think we're going to probably hear that from the county executive. Ah, you're going to make me raise taxes? No, we're not. That money was already put into the budget on a capital project. Cassily sat down with WJZ and said that it is a bad budget year, and with an unstable economy, the best thing to do is hold off on construction. I came in this office four months ago. Uh, this was a project that was set up, and I've just put a hold on it while I get my stuff together, evaluate where we are financially. The last several years, I was the lead defender of the police in the Maryland General Assembly, bar none, and this year I'm being accused of defunding the police. And the sheriff says his next step is to meet with each member of the county council to see how they're feeling about moving forward with construction of this building. We will have much more on this story for you coming up tonight on WJZ News at 11. Reporting live in Harford County, Jessica Albert for WJZ.